idiots. You stupid, stupid idiots. We only filed, sir. If it's filed, it's public. You think people sue the Premier of Ontario every day? It's news. You want to know who just called me? Who, sir? Shorty Williams. You want to know who Shorty Williams is? Who's Shorty Williams? Shorty Williams happens to be the man who arranged at considerable effort and expense a seat at the Premier's table next Sunday. That's right. I happen to be a card-carrying member of the Conservative Party. I also happen to be a card-carrying member of the Liberal Party, but that's irrelevant. What's relevant is that I'm going to have to wait till the next government is in power before I can dine with the Premier. Because Mike Harris is not going to want to break bread with some bastard who's suing his ass. Idiots! A hundred thousand is a respectable number for a first album, honey. It's not the home run we were hoping for, but respectable. And the video's doing great in Europe. Kudos on that. Thank you. But I want to... We've already started thinking about songwriters for your next album. Yes, um, look, about that. Um, I want to do my own material. I think part of the reason that the album didn't do so well was because of the songs. Uh, don't get me wrong, they were good songs, but they just weren't me. Weren't you? Look, I've been writing all this time, and I have about an album's worth of songs already. So you're like the next Willie Nelson, right? Well, I can play some of them for you. Do you think we could find a guitar around here? Don't worry about that. You want to sing your own song? Fine. I'm not opposed to it. But you're going to have to find a producer who agrees to it. And we're going to have to approve of said producer. You know what I want to know? I want to know what you do for a living. What? Go ahead. I mean, you know quite a bit about me, so it's only fair that I know a little bit about you. Okay, uh, I teach uh, English, French, and German to people who want a career in tourism here at the, the resorts. Resort business. Oh, good business. Yeah. I was in the resort business. Anything else you want to tell me? If it'll help me find my brother. Mm -hmm. Well, it might. So you know. No, I said it might. Oh, go on. What else you want to tell me? Anything. Tell me anything you know about your life, about Hector. Tell me. I have a nice little house uh, with my wife, where my little son... Like okay, that's enough. So you want to know what your brother did for me, huh? I'll tell you. He sold crack to dealers so they could sell it to kids. Did you know that? No. Well, not really. He was also involved in a lot of other businesses, but he never told me about them, which kept us both in the dark. But I found out. He started a kitty porn site, did you know that? Eventually, he took profits from that, and he gave me some of those profits, which was on the ball. But then when I found out where the profits were coming from, I don't deal in that shit. So I cut him loose. So you cut him loose? What, is, what does that mean? Cut him loose. I let him go. And I was happy with that, but your brother wasn't. Sorry to drop this on you. I'm happy to be asked. The trial's this afternoon. I do it myself, but I got a couple of clients trying to jump ship. It's not a problem, is it? Not at all, sir. The client, my daughter, drives like a maniac. If she loses this one, she's screwed. She'll be meeting at the courthouse. A traffic violation. You can't miss her. She looks like me. President, give me a Sara Lee deli sandwich. But sir, this is an emergency. I gotta have my Sara Lee. Right away, Mr. President. It's a good thing Sara Lee's delicious deli meats and rich creamy cheeses are now available in convenient resealable packs, so you can get deli taste without the weight. The phone is cool.